So welcome to this video. Um, I'm going to make this today about the, the food bank again and uh, what you receive in an emergency parcel. It is three days worth of food and yeah, I, I'm going by the list that the food bank have on their website and so I'm going to show you sort of what you get in a box and and uh, what you might expect to get you know of course it's going to depend on what they have in stock what people have donated but just to get you a general idea i don't know about the amounts as well that you get for three days but just to give you a picture of what you're likely to get and i mean of course it like i said it depends on what they've been given as far as vegetables and fruits and everything la -di -da -di -da. so you know, two big bags here, and I tried sorting them out. And like, this is what you're definitely, definitely going to get. And then it's like, what I got, like, from the food bank, as small extras or whatever they call it. But like I said, you you never know what you're going to get as far as you know brands or or something like that. So you can get the name brand of one thing and then you'll have the save as the cheapest version of another thing so that's that's another thing to keep in mind and if you have any food allergies they will try and take that into considerations as well so if you're lactose intolerant or you're allergic to gluten or if you're a vegetarian or something like that they will try and take that into consideration as well so do, do mention if you have any food allergies or if you're vegetarian when you when you see the person at the food bank who's going to um, go through all the paperwork with you and give you the food. So let's see what does this say. First up, and uh, these are, I'm going to read them off in the order that they have on their website. So first up is breakfast cereals and again all of these the things I pull out it just depends on what I have at home as well. So and nothing in this box, nothing here has been given to me by the food bank. This is all stuff that I already had at home or just bought to make, to make this video. Like I bought juice and biscuits basically. So, but the first thing you get is breakfast cereals and ta-da! So this is like Morrison in-store brand and. This video is going to show you that you do really get like an assortment of stuff and different brands. So I had some of these special cornflakes from Morrison's. That's the first thing on their list. And at the end of the video I'm going to show you sort of everything. Next on the list is soup. Where's the soup? Oh, should have organised this better. Ah, yep. The soup I had was carrot and parsnips, which I don't like. I don't know why I got this, but I'll probably just end up donating this to the food bank. So you get soup as well, which is nice. They do try to give you like a balanced diet as well, so it's not just crisps and chocolate and whatnot, you know. Uh, next up is pasta. <laughs> A packet of pasta and this is all based off one person so so the amounts you get might be slightly different if you live with someone if you have kids la da 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 etc etc but you get pasta I think it's a choice actually of uh, like, from what I remember it was like a choice of pasta rice I could be mistaken but that's how I remember it, it was quite a while ago since I went to the food bank but either way yeah rice or pasta some you might get both I don't know but again this is the cheapest one and this is like the in-store brand from Morrison and this is the cheapest one from the Sainsbury's and rice was next on the list which I've shown you and then we have the uh, pasta sauce and again, the cheapest brand, 
of pasta sauce and yeah it's pasta sauce what do you want let's see next thing is tin beans so baked beans and this is the like a tin I remember getting like two or three tins of this or something like that or maybe I just got one of these and then just like a couple of small jars one of, I remember one of them having sausages in it like a little teeny tiny sausages in it that, that's what I remember at least so but you will get tin baked beans good for protein next up tinned meat I, I think it's like a choice of if you get both like Tinned meat, is hot dogs, <laughs> Viking is hot dogs. I remember it as being uh, like a choice of meat or fish, which I, which I have here. This is Sainsbury's anchovy fillets in olive oil. I mean, it's all right. It's meat or fish, and I think if you're vegetarian, you'll get like a vegetarian option or something. <laughs> I'm not a vegetarian or vegan, so I have no idea what you're going to get or what to expect. And tinned vegetables is next. And I remember getting a few cans. So this is the Sainsbury's Basics sweet corn and water with sugar and salt. But I do remember getting a few cans of uh, of vegetables so just so you can get your t get a couple of vegetables with your meal. Which is of course very good. And what's up next? Tinned fruit is next. So I got some pears. I think that this is like a small jar. Pear quarters and refined fruit juice by Sainsbury's. I don't think you're going to get like a small cat tin of this. I think you get like a cup, like a big one or a couple of small ones. Just depends on what they have basically. Next up is milk. You're not going to get fresh milk because I don't think they have that. Oh, you, you might get it. fresh milk, depends on your food bank. But mine had the option of, I don't think they have the capacity to store this like fresh milk and it spoils quick. So uh, for me, they get, when I went there, they gave me a choice of dried milk or UHT, which is the long life milk. I have some of the dry stuff at home and I chose to get the dry stuff as well because it would just last longer than the UHT milk and so if you want to get a bit more milk if you, if you like milk for your cereals glass of milk for your meal whatever cook with it then get this stuff if you can and yeah and uh, this is also 45 a lot of stuff like this this one uh, the cereal is fortified with different minerals and vitamins. So the milk has got like vitamin A and D in it. And this, I think all the cereals nowadays are fortified anyway. So, but this has uh, stuff like B B12, B6, D vitamin, B1, iron, folic acid, etc., etc. So. So the cereal is actually a very good way to get some uh, vitamins. Next up, of the tin fruits, uh, no milks, is coffee or tea. And I don't really drink either. I just got it, and I don't like coffee. This is I usually ask for instant coffee, and I don't drink coffee. I don't drink tea. I don't like it. So I just bought it for the video, and then I will be donating this to the food bank. Uh, and again, this is the Morrison's Gold. Mm -hmm. uh, what's up? Oh. Uh, fruit juice. Again, they ask the food bank when it comes to fruit juices, they ask for the long life, not the fresh one, just because the long life is long life, <laughs> is the, and the keep longer, and it's the one that you find next to the cordials and the squash. And uh, again, this is one of the savers one, apple juice, Morrison's savers apple juice from Concentrate. And um, actually this counts for one of your five a days. I didn't know that, I just saw it on the side of the pack. 
200 milliliters contains one portion of your daily, f one of your five a day, basically. Huh. I do know that. Oh. Can't swear. Next up is sugar. Oh. So they usually ask for like 500 grams, the half kilo ones. And this is the branded stuff. Just what they had in the shop. I don't even know what they are, like in-store brands of regular caster sugar. Um, no, this is the caster sugar. This is just granulated sugar. Again, not much to say. If you like sugar for your, for your, for your cereal, coffee or tea, then, yeah. Sugar, next up, biscuit. My favorite part. Um, now I got some biscuits. This is the name brand Digestives because that's what I found in the shop. Because all of you hoarders out there, there were no biscuits. This was literally the thing that was on the shelf. The only thing left. Please don't hoard people. Don't be like that. My my saints bread had to. I actually have to ration their food so you can get like two or three of everything and toilet paper is like one one bag of toilet paper come on people stop you'll be wiping your butt for the next hundred years and next is snacks and that is actually the last item which I was a bit surprised by because I got a sh I got a ton of other stuff not the S word but and the snacks I didn't find any snacks uh, should have gotten snacks when I did my shopping yesterday, but I had some popcorn. <laughs> so popping corn, well, I have one kilo bag. These are actually really cheap. They often Morrison's often these are from Morrison's, but they're KTC. They do like lentils, beans, popcorn, chopped tomatoes, stuff like that. Really good brand, and often very cheap. Like you can get two kilos. Two. This is one kilo. So two of these for like two or three pounds. So usually these are two pounds each, but they're very often on sale, two for three pounds. And I've actually found them sometimes to be two for two pounds, so one pound each. And I can really recommend it. There being some pop popcorn there, so good and so cheap. I mean, if you get like a yeah, if you get a proper, if you get like a pre popcorn, pre pop popcorn, a hundred grams like one pound one uh, one pound ish and this is one kilo for one pound to two to one to to one pound fifty or even two pounds but still it's like between 10 and 20 pence for a portion which is half a cup of these and that's basically like a big bowl of popcorn once you're done for 10 to 20 pence so definitely worth it if you like popcorn and these actually counts as one of your five a day, believe it or not, but they do. These are one of your five a days, an 80, 80 gram half cup serving. And half a cup is before you pop them, not after. So you can have a lot of popcorn for one, one a day, basically. And that was the first bag. Morrison's bag. Not sponsored. <coughs> but... I did get some extra stuff as well. Um, I don't know if you will, you will be able to get this, but they did ask me. And the first thing was, I've got two cats, and I only had one cat when I went to the food bank last for the last time. But now I have two, and they did give me some cat food. These are the kimballs that I usually feed to the little small cat, my new cat, Misty. And uh, I got some kibbles and then I also got some some of the wet food. I haven't got any here, but just have something to show you. This is the branded stuff again. You, you never know what you're going to get. Uh, next thing, I actually got like a dessert as well, not just any fruits. Um, I don't know, remember if you, I think you got the fruit and then the tin fruit and then like a dessert. So I think the options for me were custard or what's this? creamed rice pudding. I think that's what they usually ask for, but 
if you have any other things that you want to give like a trifle make it make it yourself trifle donate that as well they will accept it as long as like long life attend or something like that oh and i also remember getting like i haven't got any jars of that here but um they did ask me if i wanted potato potatoes harvest potatoes so you can get uh, either this tinned again if so you can get a choice of tinned potatoes or mash so yeah you can get my my, my food bank gave me tinned food and tinned potatoes and or tinned mash i like the mash but the potatoes are actually really good in the tins as well i didn't know that but i i, I kind of like it and they also they also gave me jam I don't know why that wasn't on the list. They should have jam on the list. Like you can get like jam or marmalade. This is Morrison strawberry jam. I've never tried this one, so I think I'm going to try this on toast or with my or with waffles or pancakes or whatever. Oh, and just a quick note about the custard and uh, the rice pudding. I don't really like them. Well, I don't like tinned tin custard or tinned rice pudding. I usually make this myself. So these ones are going to be donated to the food bank as well. Yes. Uh, let's put it there. I'm going to space. And uh, I just remember asking, being asked, oh, do you want any feminine hygiene products like tampons or pads? So I... Uh, so I decided this is Boots in store brand, like a double pack. These are really cheap. I think double pack is like 140 or something like that. So these are really good. They work. And yeah, I think it's really good that you can get the that I you can get the option of having some of this because yeah, it's not funny when you haven't got this stuff. Uh, you know, moving on. So you. Can be given. Mine, mine asked if I needed any toothpaste and toothbrushes. So I mean, say yes. Even if you're like, oh, I have half a tube. This one, or I just you started using my toothbrush. Say yes. You know, you never know how long you're going to be going to the food bank or being unemployed or being working poor. Just, yeah, an extra tooth of toothpaste and a toothbrush can really help you out. In the long run, and in these times it's always good to have soap. Now, you can get they asked me if I wanted soap, and it's always good to have soap. Wash your hands at least 20 seconds and do it quite often. So, I do say yes to the, to the soap. These are Cousins Imperial Leather Master Perfumers Gentle Care. Mild for sensitive skin because I have sensitive skin, and that's why I have this at home. And if you hear any noises in the background, that's one of the cats eating. Yes. So do say, do get some soap. <laughs> so we're almost at, oh, deodorant. This is with the Shaw brand Cool Blue, forty-eight hours quick dry. But, like I said, you can get any brand, Insta brand, name brand, the cheapest brand, whatever that people have donated, basically. So, but my food bank gave me the option of having some deodorant. And then they did offer me some, like, shower gel. I can't remember if they offered me, like, shower gel or shampoo or shower gel and shampoo but I do remember so I'll just bring the other one as well now I didn't find any con any shampoo so this is conditioner so just pretend it's uh, pretend it's shampoo okay please just, mm, use your imagination so and uh, this is obviously a big pack of Radox and this is Boots in-store brand conditioner and yeah it's Say yes, even if, if you have some. I mean, you never know how long you're going to rely on a food bank or if you're going to have any money to buy to buy shampoo and and shower gel or food for that matter. Most importantly, um, 
So that is basically what was in the, the uh, like a food parcel. Like I said, you never know what. I didn't. I can't remember the bread, how how much I got actually got because it was like a year and a half ago since I actually used the food bank last. And since then, I have a job. I got a job, and now I can buy my, buy food basically. And yeah, but and uh, I know the, sh the shelves at the moment are really empty in shops. But if you can get in contact with your local food bank and ask them, hey, do you need anything? Do you, can I? What What do you need now? Yeah, what do you need the most at the moment? And even if you can't donate a lot, even if you can donate like two cans of vegetables or like one one jar of meat or, or fish or whatever then you, all of that is going to go to a good cause and going to help people feed themselves 